All right, so here is the dredge fractal. Uh, in my opinion, and many people's, it's the worst fractal because there are way too many events and too many mobs that have too much HP, basically. Um, we're basically negating the length a little bit by uh, doing this trick. Again, the devs know about it. They're probably going to fix it soon. probably follow me since you know all right so you can basically jump you need swiftness you can use like great sword leap or whatever to the back of that whatever cage um, roughly like right where I'm standing you run forward and you'll glitch through So basically you need one person on each of these blocks to open the gate. Um, then a third person needs to basically just, I don't know, like op use it to open this gate. It's like a channeling event basically. So the other two people who aren't on the switches need to basically protect everyone. It uh, gets a bit harder at higher levels. At lower levels, it's pretty easy. You want to focus the most on protecting the guy who's charging so he doesn't get interrupted. Like, even if you get down, you still stay on the switch, so... And then when it's done, you can just run through this hallway to uh, basically leash the mobs. Um, if we didn't glitch through behind the wall, it's not too much longer. You basically have to have one person go up into these cages up here to hit a switch to open doors while the other four people run in. Then do the same thing on the other side for that person who held the first switch to get through. Um, if you use like Ash Legion Spy Kits, which give you 10 seconds of stealth as long as you don't use like an attack or move, then it actually makes it pretty easy. So it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. So here you're going to get two different events. Uh, you're going to get either a bomb event or like a cannon event to open the door. The cannon event's way easier than the bomb event, and we got the cannon event. So you're going to have this big group here. Most of them are normal mobs. Um, you're just going to clear them out. If you have a guardian, uh, again, like shield wall or uh, the spirit shield is good because these guys in the back shoot you and they do quite a bit of damage, especially at higher levels. So at level 14 right now, my guardian's at like, uh, I think it's like 24. Uh, it gets a bit harder like after 20. Through the teens, it's still pretty easy just to go into melee everything. So once you clear that group, some more will spawn. You want to try and get these cannons down real quick though. Cause those, I believe those keep spawning until the cannons are down. I've seen them spawn a couple times before in like pugs where we kill slower. Alright, so once those are down, we're just going to finish clearing the rest of the mobs. get a lot of heavy miner bags which can basically have tier 6 and tier 5 mats in them so you actually get pretty good loot so once you get here make sure you don't start using the cannons until someone has one because hitting the wall basically starts the next event alright someone get the last one 
All right, so basically you're going to have three people just use their ice cannon things on this uh, door. Uh, the other two people can protect, just kill or kite or do whatever. With three people on the door, you should be able to get it down way before the mobs uh, kill you. Then run back to the front. If someone gets down, just leave them. You can res them after. Basically, once you get back to the front, all these mobs will despawn. So you can res up anyone who's down. So right here, when you get out of combat, you can basically just wait a second. These mobs will leash. And then they basically dig back into the ground. So as you can see, they're pretty much all gone now. There's one guy here, he's digging into the ground. I'm just going to kill him. Um, there is the bomb event where you actually have to place bombs at the door. It's harder. There's like a ton of mobs that keep spawning for whatever reason. And they don't all like despawn after. So if you do that one, you'll have to kill some of them most likely. So go on the wheel for this part. So the wheel is basically another mechanic. You stand up here and you won't get hit by anything but the basically the rifleman. Um, once you kill this first set of riflemen, they'll like spawn at the back of this truck and you'll just instantly kill them. So I'll try and kill these riflemen real quick so the far ones despawn. If you have a guardian, like the shield wall is really good as well. So as you can see, we're just all standing on this wheel and all the melee attacks are missing us, including like the champion mob. Um, <clears throat> the champion mob, he's not too hard. Basically, the only thing to watch out for is his big wind-up attack, which is a huge, like, it's like two-second, three-second wind-up. So you basically deserve to be downed if you get hit by it because it's really easy to dodge. Um, besides that, it's not too difficult. You can also pull the boss out this door, if they ever fix this, um, and fight the boss separately. At lower levels, again, it's not too hard to uh, like kill these normal dredge. They're normal mobs, they're not even veterans. But at higher levels, it gets a bit tougher. So it's basically used at higher levels where it's everything has more health and does more damage. So as you can see, the bar in the upper right, you have to kill both the boss and a certain amount of dredge to advance this event. Um, by standing on the wheel instead of pulling the boss out, you just do it faster because you're doing both at the same time. Once you kill the boss, you can basically just jump down here and kill everything that spawns out from the truck. Everything else is easy. They do have like weird invulnerable periods when they first come out of the truck, so probably get that a lot. You get a ton of heavy miner bags which is good loot. There we go. Alright, so this part has basically two uh, paths as well. You can either fight the ice elemental for the final boss or the dredge. Um, you'll know by what mobs are in this pathway, so they're dredge here, so we're going to get the dredge boss. Um, if there's ice elementals here, we're going to get the ice elemental boss. A lot of people think the dredge boss is hard. I actually think he's easier. Um, for whatever reason, I think it's easier to dodge his agony attack, which I'll show you. Um, and then all his other attacks are easy to dodge as well.
Alright, so for this dredge boss, you basically, uh, it's the same mechanic for both the dredge and the ice elemental. You need to drag him underneath and dump la lava from these, uh, whatever, bucket things. Uh, that'll be cause him to basically take a ton of damage and let you do damage to him. Um, the dredge boss has a couple attacks to watch out for. In melee range, he's just gonna do like a double punch move which hurts but it's easy to stay out of melee range. Um, he's also going to throw a bunch of bombs which is I think people have trouble with dodging it for whatever reason but basically puts red circles all over the ground you can just evade out of it it's not too difficult and then his agony attack is he's gonna charge up and basically cast shock waves out for him from him. Um, you can actually if you have both evades up you can dodge and not get hit by his agony attack, which is why I like this guy better. It's pretty easy once you learn the timing. Uh, occasionally he dipped down there, but um, that causes him to heal. So here's his bomb attack. You can just run out of it. Basically want to drag him to this. So there's his agony attack. You see I dodged twice. I didn't get hit by it. So what I usually do is I will melee him a few seconds because it's more damage and then just go into range mode. Basically you just drag him back and forth to these two lava things. It's closer just to do back and forth instead of in a circle. Here comes the bombs. Uh, you can actually block them with Aegis and then it causes them basically not to uh, explode. You want to interrupt that. So we missed that lava thing. You can see he's taking he's taking normal damage, but for his life pool, it's no damage basically. So you need to get the lava on him to to do good damage. So here's his agony attack. He actually hasn't done his agony attack too much. Full DPS after the next one. Agony attack. So you see I dodged twice, I didn't get hit. I'm just gonna finish him off there. So I really don't think that guy's too hard. Um I'm not sure why so many people have more trouble with him than the ice elemental. But I actually find him easier. And that is it for this fractal. Thanks for watching.